Well, nice to see my very through friends the party today. And today we like something unusual. So it's cooking day. Now today we prepare a breakfast dish today. And a breakfast dish is a kind of dish where you have at breakfast. Now I never did this before, but I'm super excited and very proud of cooking. And then I thought of throwing a big party. Now everyone, be very unusual and very concrete. Please come in. Now, everyone, today is my first adventure cooking on this show today. This is going to be a new show that I have in my hands. Now, today, I have through a lot of Manuit bowls today. And today will not have some pencily pencils of some fun romances. Now, I'm going to be right back in the juicy to get my cooking gloves. Now, I've got my cooking gloves on, and today we'll start by using some pottery. Now, this pottery day has an unusual pottery. Well, my cook, Rodan say, is some hardness. Now, what I'm going to do today is have some very good excursions because people in my house have to wash their hands when they cook. Like me, I have washed my hands right before I stowed it. I have gotten ready for this <coughs> video today. Now, the thing about this breakfast video is a whole known bite of plant food that I have never cooked. So this is my first time. Now everyone, I have a secret ingredient on this chair that I'm the po. Now, I am going to start and take the show. Okay? Now. The first thing I'm going to do in using my ingredient is make some peanut butter breadcrumbs. Now, I'm getting pretty excited about this. I might do a good job. Now, you get these from the cotton section, which you might think, oh, the cotton section. So what you have to do is you have to get a total amount of some peanut butter seeds and put them in a bowl. Now you know when I say peanut butter seeds, don't you? Now, what I have to do is I have to add some rice and I have to get some other things. Now, everyone, this bowl is whole to imagine that flavorful anthem and that flavorful anthem will come to you. Now, what I need to do is I need to soak with it with some rice. Now, I'm being careful I do not drop it. And I hope I do a good job. Because this is my first day. So I have been told to host a show. Now, you can get these from the rice and chitin section at the stove. You should be really good. A very good indeed. Now, if you overcook them and put them unflavorful, the flavor won't come to you. So, that's why for this breakfast dish, I'm using some of these rices. But you won't taste them. Now, can any of you smell that? It seems a peculiar smell, isn't it? Now, can you smell that? I'll pass it around. Now, that smell is a very discreet smell, but it's going to change very soon. Now, the next thing is going to be some jelly. I mean some apple marmalade. Now, what I'm going to do is I need a spoon for the marmalade. So, what I need to do is I need to go to the counter and get the spoon myself. Now I've got a plastic spoon because 
the best that we have. Now, this is very hard to do, because this marmalade has been found in ancient history. This is found in the fruit sauce section. Fruity sauce section, of course. Now, remember that this sauce is very ancient. Okay, now here goes. Now, this is unsticky marmalade. Well, people might think, well, so I need to get some marmalade, put it in this thing here. Now, this is very hard to do. You have to mix it all up. Okay? That mixes. Now, what I need to do is I need to get some chocolate. lumps. Now, this marmalade has been found in ancient history, like I told you. It is very ancient. I have one more teaspoon to go, and this is my last one. I have to shake that. Now, what I have to do is I have to add something else in my bowl. That would be some crackles. Actually, no. I have to get some jelly for my bowl. Now you know jelly. Now, let me tell you something. This recipe, <coughs> this recipe is a whole recipe. So I need to make sure that I put my gloves on now so it won't be so messy. Now, I put my gloves on. Now, what I need to do is I need to be careful. Now, I need to take one off and then open the jaw. And then get my spoon. Now, this is something easy to do because I never used any kind of jam like this before. So, I'm being real careful not to mess my shirt up. Now, what I need to do is get my spoon out of here. And then get some jelly. Now, this is really hard to get some jelly because it sticks. And it's crushing. So, that's why I've got a spoon that will do it. And these are the only spoons that they are making that go well with this. So, what I need to do is I need to pour some jelly in there. Good. A cap a coat up with jelly. Now, I will show you, but this is not going to be a sweet surprise. Now, what I'm going to do is I, and I'm going to give it a taste and see if it tastes good, and if it tastes right. Now, here goes. Yes, that's that's right. I wanted it to be crunchy because... The rice isn't going to have any flavor. We're never going to get to taste it. So that's why I'm using a spoon for this kind of work. Now the next thing you have to do is you get some of these little seeds and pull but a half quarter of cup in here. Lentil seeds. And then I have to melt them to make this recipe come true. Now let me show you. Okay? This is the way I put it. Now, can you see that? Sniff. My tongue is so smell that. Now that's the way the recipe is going to be made. Because we are doing citrus biscuits. And I have to <coughs> this is what citrus is made. Good. Now, what I have to do is I have to set this over here. Now, I'll deal with that needle and then I'll mix it up here when I get the other ingredients. Now, what I need to do is I need to fill my next bowl. Now, these are some crackers of mine. I thought of using them because I thought 
why don't I just use crackers? So that's why I got them at the store. To show you. I got crackers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break them in half and put them in this bowl. Now that's what they're used for. Breaking and pulp. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some other things in. Now these are not for tasting, you know. Because these are for other things. Flavors of good luck and good health. Actually, I might need to split that a little more and soak of. So that is good. Now I've got my bristles hands all the way. Now, I mashed a cracker up. Now what I need to do is I need to get some of these breadcrumbs. Now breadcrumbs are really good. Now what you need to do is you need to put some breadcrumbs in. Okay? Now, here is the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to sprinkle a bit of breadcrumbs. Now, breadcrumbs taste a bit like orange popsicles hiding in the moonlight. So they are a wonderful barn light for you to be using at home. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit more of the breadcrumbs. Very nice. Now, everyone, this cooking show today is a hold, so I thought I'd get some raisins. Now, this is the food part, because you can get as many raisins as you want, because my raisin list is some special raisins. Well, I don't usually want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this package off. Now what I have to do is do this. But I have to be flexible because it's covered in plastic. I got that open. Now what I have to do is I have to get that open. Maybe if I pop some holes, then it will do that. There we go. Now, it was simple popping holes. There you got it. Now, I need to get some raisins and put some in here. Now, remember that you can use as many raisins as you would like to use them. That is a good answer. Now, I'm using raisins because they make flavors very wealthy. Then, is the fun part. You have to put jelly over the raisins. Now, I know that this is unmade jelly. But I normally don't do this. Now, I'll use some more jelly. Put that over... <laughs> Now remember me when I say jelly works good on raisins. I know you never tried it, but it's really good. Because it's the same color. Almost. But it has <coughs> almost the same flavor as it. So what I need to put is the jelly over here. Now remember that this is the show to watch on Sunday mornings. Now this is the day we do it. Now I need to add a bit more crackle. I need to crack it and then it will smudge in. Now that is the way normal success works. Because you might want to do something hard and easy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back. Now, I need to go wash my hands for this coat. Now, what I'll do is we're going to go all wash your hands. Now, this is the part where you need to help me. So, I'm going to wash my hands and you all are going to come with me. So, everyone... Are you in line? Good. Everyone? 
this way. Now, this is the fun part because you can use some things else with it when we're done washing our hands. Now, you all need to be in the line. Now, I'm going to wash my hands because they're the dirtiest. Good. All washed and dried. Now, everyone, we're going to come back in the side room and then finish our making. Now, everyone, did you wash? Good. Now then, what we're going to do is I am going to make a big extravaganza out of these foods. Okay? Now remember, this is a cooking episode. So what I need to do is I need to get a different ingredient. Now, what I need to do is, the thing I need to do is add some more breadcrumbs. Just pour some more down there, and then I need to pour all of this in my other bowl. Make it a big old recipe. Now, ready? Here goes. There we go, that yummy stuff in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to put this thing over here. So it can dry out and get clean. Now, the normal thing is we get a dishwasher for this kind of work. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there and when we leave, I'll put it in the dishwasher. Now, the other thing we need is I'm going to get some more ingredients to put in all of these bowls. Okay? Now, remember that. Okay? I'll be right back. Now you know when I say that, is that right? Now, for all bowl material, I have some oil, extra virgin oil, some white whole wheat mayonnaise, and some Twiskets. Now, the thing I need first is the oil, okay? Because the oil is the good part of it. Now this oil is a big of the assessment. So what I need to do is I need to pull the oil can. Now I know that this is no. kind of intuitive. Now everyone, while he's getting that phony, I'm just going to add a little more of these to make it more flavorful. Now, that's good. Don't, don't pour much in. Now, remember that this is the fun part, okay? Now, you need to... Now, are you going to watch? Because I need to cook. Okay, that's enough. D -d 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 now, what we're going to do is that is good. Now, this bowl needs to be refrigerated. Now, it needs to be refrigerated to something I have used and I have eaten. Wheat things. Now, the wheat things are going to be in here, the crackers are going to be in the wool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wheat things in the bowl. Now, wheat things are the things that goes in the oil. Sometimes it's hard to put wheat things in oil because you don't bake them. We fried it. Okay, That's okay. how you don't use anything else. Now, that is enough, it says on the recipe. Now, what you need to do next is you need 
to make a wool up. We're running out of time, but and it needs someone good. So everyone, what I'm gonna do is this recipe is a wit. Now everyone, it took a bit of time because I have got all the things I need. Now what I need to do is I need to pour it in this bowl. There you have your recipe and all of us can enjoy it later. We'll enjoy it later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over here. Okay? So where should I put it? Just put put it right there. But... There we go. Now, it's in the middle of the table. <laughs> it's little. <coughs> now, everyone, I hope you had a great experience cooking today with us making foods enjoyable. Now, everyone, we will go. Now, you will be really good. Now, everyone, we really need to get lined up because it has been a bad day. A long day, of course. A wonderful cooking experience of the old Amoli consoles. And today we'd like only the beginning of our candy bowls to be hold and loving. Now today we need something very good. Now everyone, I hope it has been a great experience for you all to manage something interesting. And today we'd like to own the shop. Now today, I hope you had learned a lot about cooking experiences. And today we own meal day. Goodbye.